The first step in fixing a problem is understanding how bad the problem is. Unfortunately, some embedded system code is just pervasively bad. You might have heard of spaghetti code, which refers to software that is such a tangled mess nobody can really figure out how it works. And because of excessive complexity, it might be difficult or impossible to test thoroughly. You might also think that spaghetti code went away with the advent of structured programming techniques a couple decades ago. But as it turns out, spaghetti code is still out there in the world. Millions and millions of Toyota vehicles produced in the 2000s had spaghetti code, and many of those vehicles are still on the road today. Those aren't just my words, but rather Toyota's own words about the quality of their code. They even said internally that they had to improve the spaghetti-like status of their engine control code. Unfortunately, that engine controller was found to be the cause of a fatal car crash, leading to stories in the press saying their system had killer firmware. That's the type of press no company really wants to see. In the end, problems with unintended acceleration that involve the engine controller firmware have ended up costing the company over a billion dollars, with hundreds and hundreds of lawsuits for death and injury settling beyond that. Clearly, the quality of their embedded software has been a problem for Toyota.